Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial. We are still in our modifiers series to try to understand all the grease pencil modifiers. And today we will make this cool effect, this roses effect made with this stack of modifiers here. And we will try to recreate this. I will put the final file on Gumroad for free for you. Check it in the description and check by the way the files there. You may want to buy one or two and you might want to check the tutorials, the free tutorials on this channel attached to those files also you can buy me a coffee the link is in the description so let's start by deleting all these modifiers here and then go to edit mod a to select everything xd to delete everything and then tap to get back to draw mode and let's draw a flower like this a five petals flower and now let's add a envelope modifier we will use the deform mode and we'll increase this value here let's go to edit mode and see how the deform works you see that it deformed our shape our flower the other modes don't work like that segment you see it adds a lot of segments and fills seems to do the same too but the form does this so now if we want to see those color nuances we will have to add a tint modifier and change this color to pink like this the strange maybe to one for now and then we will have to add this one here it's called vertex weight angle so this modifier will generate weight paint depending on the angle of the vertice or the angle of the stroke so we should put this modifier before the tint modifier and if you go here to object other properties and the vertex groups you see that i added already a generate group here it's called generate because i want to use it for generated weight paint so we go to our vertex weight angle modifier here and we choose our generate group and then we go to the tint modifier and under influence and in vertex group we add also generate and bingo we have this effect so i guess i will lower the strength here we already have something that resembles a rose or a rose circle but it's not that good so i will add a noise modifier make it the first of all these modifiers so that it influences the stroke or the base stroke here before the other modifiers get applied let's try to play with the position and let's try to play too with the noise scale so here we have some better looking shape and now let's try to make it even better that according to the experiments i made should be done using the smooth modifier as you can see we already have a better look here so let's add the smooth modifier just after the envelope and let's try to play with this value here you see that the smooth value it's like we have multiple lines going in different directions but when you increase the repeat here for smooth those lines start to be kind of getting from the center of the circle to the outside so let's increase it just a little bit and this is of course not what we want but it adds something like leaves like petals sticking out of the roses and what i want to add next is a subdivision modifier subdivide and add it before our smooth modifier here maybe increase this and then increase the subdivision so one two yes i think with two it looks good let's increase more let's increase the subdivisions and we have this effect here i think i like this we can go back to the noise modifier and try to play with it a little bit more and maybe with the noise scale and maybe also with the, the envelope here value maybe play with the smoothness again so this is it this is our rose and this is the stack we made made of six modifiers it's like we have a procedural brush now created using modifiers and if we draw shapes here modifiers will be instantly applied so let's duplicate this object shift d duplicate it let's hide our initial stroke and i think i'm gonna so a 
XD deletes everything. Duplicate it again, so Shift D again, and we have another strokes. Let's call this one Bush and name this one Roses. We go to the Bush one and go to the Tint. No, I think I'm going to the material here. So we are using solid stroke with a red color. Let's create a new material from this one by hitting this number here. Now it is unique and we can change the color to green, maybe some darker green. I should draw something. So let's go to draw mode, draw something like this to be able to see my colors and adjust them. So back to the modifiers and go to the tint modifier and change this rose to green, make it a little bit darker maybe. Let's go to edit mode, let's select everything, XD to delete the stroke and back to draw mode. So the best way to work with this effect is not to draw straight lines. It will just give you a, a unified colors because I guess the stroke is going in just one angle. But you will need to draw like semicircles. How is it called this? Like letter C's or crescent, I guess, crescent maybe hearts like this. The best I think is not to draw with the opening on top but with the opening on the bottom. So here we have the shape of a rose here even if it's green. So now let's draw some bushes. Let's just draw like this. Like a kid who's just learning how to draw. You can adjust and add more details as you go and always try to do these, these uh, M shapes here. <laughs> So this is it, it's just something quickly. And then we go to the roses object here and we draw some roses. So just draw like these, I don't know what's this, like balloons, little balloons. And here we have some roses, beautiful pink, red roses. So this is it, something very simple and I think it looks cool. You can make the roses a little bit closer to the camera than the bush. So let's go to object mode, G, Y and like this so that they don't get half of them hidden inside of the bush. Like this, camera view and we have this. Voila, this was our quick tutorial for today and practice exercise with modifiers. I will put this file in Gumroad for you guys so you can download it and study it maybe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace!